You are listening to Shadow Wood Beyond. Breaking news. The virus that originally came from Guildford has now spread out. Over the past few hours, cases have popped up in London, Reading, Croydon, and Brighton. There have been multiple deaths recorded, and things are not looking good. In other news, the recent explosion in Guildford has been labeled by the military group WIDS as a gas explosion. The cleanup operation is also being dealt with by WIDS. How's the cleanup going? Taking a while. We're constantly finding expensive equipment and alien artifacts. Any sign of Harkness? Nothing yet, but I'm picking up lots of movement below the rubble. Well, be careful. I'm pretty sure Shadow Wood kept vermits down there somewhere. Hello. How can Fairway Plus help you today? Hello there. I'm Norton Folgate. And I'm Ralph Hartman. The Ralph Hartman? Oh, this is amazing! How does she know who you are? Oh, come on, Norty. You know all about my growing fan base. Fans of what? Me and my universe-saving adventures. You saved the universe? Fifteen times, actually. No, you didn't. Anyway, we can't get distracted. Can we please speak to your boss? I'm pretty sure he's in a meeting. Why don't you tell him I'm here? Of course! (laughs) I doubt that'll work. It's not like he's a fan of your universe-saving adventures. He says to go straight up. What? Thank you for visiting Fairway Plus here on Phyronoid. I hope you have a pleasant day. Quick, let's go! I don't get it. There's nobody in the office. This drink is still warm. Hmm. Whoever works in this office only left just before we got here. Well, look at you, plain detective. Oh, that's easy. Anyone can do that trick. If you're so smart, Norty, then where's the boss? Well, I don't know. Exactly. Now leave this to the professionals. Gwen. See what's missing from around the office. If he's taken anything essential, then he's obviously planning on going away for a while. Sure thing. The last thing he was looking at was flight tickets to go off this world. None of this makes sense. Who was the receptionist speaking to? Well, maybe she knew the boss wasn't in and she was just pretending. Anyway, we're going off track here. We need a specimen of the antivirus. I think there's some in the fridge. That's not a fridge, just some sort of cooling hub. Isn't that what a fridge is? There could be a million different viruses that have antidotes stored away up here. If you give that to humans, then who knows what it will do to them. Right, 
crap, I'm stuck. Oh no, anything but vermite. I need to get out of here, and fast. A vermite, brilliant. You there, identify yourself. Me? Yes, I'm not asking the dead vermite, am I? The name's Jack Harkness. And who might you be? I'm Sergeant Williams. I'm working with WIDS to help clear up this gas explosion. Gas explosion? Didn't your boss tell you what really happened? The Brigadier? What has he got to do with this? He blew this place up sky high. I don't believe you. I'm going to speak to the Brig. I doubt he's going to just admit it. Sir, I've got a Jack Harkness here. What? You're not going to shoot me, are you? I've already been blown up today. Yes, boss. I'm just following orders. I don't get it. Everyone on Earth will die. Why are you doing this? Because of you. What has Norton got to do with this? Everything. You think you're so much better than me, don't you? You always have. So I thought I'd show you who's really the better one. Me. By killing everyone? By destroying home. You're from Earth. Of course we are. Nordy and I went to school together. That's not my name. But it's what I called you for your entire school career, isn't it? <laughs> Those were the days. You bullied Norton? He hasn't always been a hero. He just copies me. What did Norton ever do to you which means you bullied him? I know why. Because I'm better than him. At everything. And you just can't stand it, can you? Being top of the class isn't everything. You need to know how to fight and get around this silly old universe. That's why Nordy is so weak. This is between us. There is no need to wipe out the human race. Here he goes again, thinking he's above humanity. No, I don't. Please don't do this. Or what? It's too late now anyway. I destroyed all signs of the antivirus. There's no going back. Luckily, I don't want to anyway. Ralph? What happened to being the saviour of the galaxy and all that? It's the saviour of the universe, actually. And besides, it's not like you'll be able to tell anyone about this. Yes, we will. We'll go out there and tell everyone we see just how insane you are. Do you really think I haven't prepared for this? I even got the anti-vaccine jab, just in case. Why do you need it? What have you done? But we're not infected. <coughs> <coughs> You've given us the virus, haven't you? Of course. Enjoy your final moments. You all had quite a lethal dose. You wouldn't have. It's insane. Oh, I know. I've always been insane, really, if you think about it. Insane over killing you? Now I think it's time I abandoned ship, really. This company has an extremely fancy private shuttle I want to try out. I plan on flying to Earth and watching the planet fall sick and die. Farewell. Norton, do something. I, c I can't. He's won. Without the vaccine, we're dead. So this is it then? We're just going to lie down and wait for the Hartman virus to kill us? Hartman virus? If these are my final moments, I can't think of anyone better to spend them with. Too right. You're my best friends. You two and Jack are all I have, really. Shadowwood isn't my job, it's my family. And family sticks together. Right until the end. I haven't had a family in a while. <sighs> Forgotten what it feels like. Well, it's this. Being with the people you love that love you back. I wouldn't change this. If saving myself from dying from a virus means not joining Shadowwood, then I wouldn't change it. 
It's been a wild ride, but it's been the ride of my life. Why didn't we just follow Ralph? Because there's no point. He destroyed all signs of the vaccine. How is it you create vaccines? Lots of time, lots of tests, lots of money. We don't have any of that. Fairway Plus did, and that's how they worked it all out. So are they like a big pharmaceutical company? Yep, they work with some of the best minds in the universe, including the sisters of Plenitude. <laughs> are we supposed to know who they are? <laughs> well, not really. You like them though? Humanoid cats. I can't do this. Do what? Give up. If we're going to die with the Hartman virus, then we shall flip and die trying to win. But Sally, there isn't a way of sorting it. Backups? Huh? If this company is as great as you make out, then they have plenty of backup data for how to create the antivirus. Ralph runs the company. He surely have wiped out the information. It's worth a try. Where will we get the access to all of this? Let's look at the computer. It'll be able to tell us. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Let me help. How long do you think we have left until the virus means we can't function? You studied it. My research wasn't conclusive enough. I say we have around 15 minutes. That's not enough time. Then we'll have to rush then. I found the formula. As in? The formula for the antivirus. I've got Harkness in a cell, boss. Well, what's left of him? Good. Can I ask, sir? How is it he's still alive? I shot him in the head. He's not right. Not human, probably. And you know what WIDS does with non-human life? We destroy it. Prepare Harkness for incineration. Will that kill him? Probably not. But I'd like to see him try and recover from it. I'll get onto it now. That goes for the rest of you. I want to be alone. Captain Hartman, this is Brigadier Reynolds. We're having trouble killing off Harkness, and we can't locate the rest of Shadow Wood. Why is that? Did you infect them? Good, good. Of course. Good luck. What is this place? The Fairway Plus chemical stores. We've got five chemicals we need to find for us to be able to use the vaccine. I don't feel so great, Norton. Well, I think it's the virus. It, maybe it's started to show. We really do feel on the ill side. You said we had 15 minutes, Norton. We need to be quick. Who knows how long you and I have left? You look for this list, I'll look for the other one. Go. Hello and welcome back to the news. The virus has swept over the nation and is currently present in all areas of the UK. Scientists believe it is passing through air and water, the two necessities of life. The virus seems to have contaminated all water supplies and this has allowed other countries to become infected. I am so sorry everyone, but I fear this is the end of the world. What's going on now? Still thinking of ways to kill me? Because believe me, it's impossible. You are impossible. I'm Jack Harkness, and I'm immortal. Impossible is my middle name. We shall soon see about that. It's time to incinerate you. Incarceration? Correct. I wonder if you'll still be alive when you're just particles of dust. You don't have to do this. Your boss is crazy. Which is supposed to save the world, not end it. Good night, Jack Harkness. Begin the process.
have all the chemicals, now what do we do? Let me get some instructions up. Do you really think Sally is going to make it? I don't know. You don't know? Of course I don't. This virus is complicated and we only have minutes to live. Earth is going to fall, Gwen. There has to be something to do. We don't have any time left. Speaking of not having time left, I don't think I have any. Gwen! No! Norton! Sally, uh, don't worry. I'll make the vaccine now. Believe me, Sally, the pleasure is all mine. Nearly done. Oh no, I'm starting to feel a bit weak too. <laughs> oh, we can't die. Goodbye, Shadowwood. have been listening to Shadow Wood Beyond. Norton Folgate was played by Aidan Dixon. Gwen Stacy was played by Lynn Nugent. Jack Harkness was played by Paul Nugent. Sally Sanders was played by Linda Kern. The Nurse was played by Bryn Berg. Brigadier Reynolds was played by Michael Wood. News reporter was played by Tracy Wilder. Ralph was played by Curtis Michael. Sergeant Williams was played by Danny Smith. The receptionist was played by Alice Ryan. And the director was Aidan Dixon. The music soundtrack was by Leo Holder and Lucas Wolfe.